30. cooking for dinner. Skunk on a stick? <laughs> Close. It's liver and sauerkraut. My favorite. Here. Taste. No thanks. I'd rather munch on some mothballs. Yeah. Oh. So why are you going to all this trouble for Chief Applegate? I need to have a serious talk with him. Oh. Did he give another speeding ticket to an ambulance? <laughs> no. It's the city employee personnel review. And I can't find Kyle's high school records in his files. He won't give them to me. So I thought if I cooked him his favorite dinner, he'd cough them up. I'm sure he'll cough something up. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. Brought something to go with your sauerkraut and liver. Air freshener? Oh, yeah, I was think up the kitchen with that stuff. This is one of my famous Limburger cheese logs. Mmm, mmm. Gee, thank you, Kyle. Evie, put this somewhere where it can breathe. So, what do you want to talk to me about? Well, Kyle, <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Kyle, we can't put this off any longer. I need to see your high school records. Okay, which ones? Little Richard or the Big Bopper? <laughs> Kyle. Chief Applegate, why won't you show your records to my mom? Would you get bad marks? No. What, were you in a lot of trouble? Of course not. Well, I'm sure you weren't one of those dorks that never graduated. <laughs> well, Chief Applegate, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to call you one of those do... I mean, I think you're... Gee, Mom, that sauerkraut smells so good. Kyle, um, you don't have a high school diploma? Well, what's the big deal? Not everybody has a high school diploma. Evie doesn't. Well, Kyle... Every city employee has to be a high school graduate or they can't work for the city. It's the law. Uh-oh. I guess I've fastened the fire now. Well, you mean your job is in danger? Yes. Oh, you better turn off the stove. The liver's burning. <laughs> now, now, look. This is my problem. I'll handle it. I don't want to hear another word about high school. Well, I'm off to my high school reunion. <laughs> Gee, Mick, that sounds really Man, wonderful, but I... it is gonna be great. Seeing old friends, reminiscing, making fun of those dorks that dropped out and never graduated. <laughs> the only bad part is running into those phonies who try to make you think they're doing better than they really are. But could you come here for a reason? Oh, yeah. Donna, can I borrow the city limousine? Otherwise, my friends are never going to believe I'm a senator. No, I'm sorry, Nick. Goodbye. Kyle, how come you never graduated high school? Well, it was 1962. Kennedy was president. Uh, Glenn orbited the Earth. But most importantly, my skin had cleared up. Kyle! Well, it was finals week in school. I had one exam left when suddenly the call came from Hollywood. I had a decision to make. Finish the exam, graduate from high school, and go on to college or play a cannibal and please don't eat the dailies. <laughs> well, <laughs> the choice is obvious. Well, you have another choice to make. You can either get your high school diploma or give up being police chief. But how? Well, you can go back to high school. It's never too late. Evie's right, Kyle. We have a perfectly good school system right here in Marlowe. Well, you don't expect the police chief to sit in a classroom full of kids. 
Is this an order? I'm afraid so. And I'm a mature adult. Well, Kyle, I'm afraid you're going to have to do it. Ah, gee. What a chip. <laughs> He's going to be late for his first day. Well, I saw his squad car in the parking lot, so he must be around here somewhere. Hey, knock it off. Hey, don't do that. Oh, come on. Hey. Oh, come on. Come on. What happened? Uh, uh, a couple of bullies knocked my books out of my hand, stole my lunch money, and kept giving me noogies. <laughs> Wish they'd pick on somebody their own size. Who was it? Those two. Give me that, will ya? Boy, uh, I hear the teacher's pretty tough. Well, they don't call Miss Ogilvy the ogre for nothing. Oh, huh. huh. she can't be that bad. Last quarter, she punished Bobby Fletcher by suspending his lunch privileges. Huh? For how long? Ask Bobby. <laughs> Very funny. Well, she's not gonna scare me. After all, I've dealt with hardened criminals. I'm not gonna let a little school teacher frighten me. Heads that up. <laughs> All right. Who is the idiot that parked a police car in my space? Your final history exam will take place in two weeks. In order to help you prepare, I have decided to narrow down the area that you will need to study. So the test will cover the brief span of time from creation to last Wednesday. What time Wednesday? <laughs> Mrs. Olgery, I moved my car and put yours in its parking place. Uh, you were parked in front of a fire hydrant. A parking ticket? Never mind. I can fix this. Maybe when you uh, hand out our grades, you can fix something for me. Mr. Applegate, do you have something in your eye? No. Would you like to? No. Now, listen to me, Mr. Applecrate. I want you to know that I was against you being in this class because I felt you would be a complete disruption. Now, park yourself and keep out of trouble. Well, don't you worry. You won't hear a peep out of me. Let us continue with our history review. Now, in Texas's struggle for independence, 1836, who was the hero of the Alamo? Uh, you who? You Mr. Applegate? Uh, John Wayne. <laughs> All right, perhaps we better go back to an earlier time. Let us discuss Jefferson. George or Wheezy? <laughs> Maybe you just shouldn't say anything. Oh, relax, Evie. I'm just a little rusty. Two more questions and I'll be sitting pretty. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow we will continue our history review, hopefully with less distraction from our new classmate. <laughs> Why did you keep insisting that the slaves were freed by you and Sandra D? Well, it was my fault. She didn't see me in Gidget Goes Gettysburg. Well, <clears throat> do you want to go to lunch with us? Ah, oh, thanks, Evie. I, I, I don't think so. I, I just don't fit in here. Everybody keeps picking on me. Oh, well, don't worry. We're your friends. We'll take care of you. <laughs> Okay, 1789, Continental Congress, 1861, firing at Fort Sumter, 1492, Columbus discovered America. <laughs> nope, two burgers and 11 Cokes. <laughs> oh, hey, girls, feel like catching a movie? No way, I'm beat. Yeah, we've been studying for the Ogre's history final. You high school kids are wimps. You should see what I have to study at college. 
introduction to Donkey Kong? Hey, not everyone gets in. I mean, the prerequisite was 75 hours of Space Invaders. <laughs> Besides, I passed Ogilvy's test when I was a senior. Yeah, but since then, a whole other year of history has gone by. <laughs> Speaking of ancient history, how's Chief Applegate doing in school? Well, the first week was kind of rough, but he's been trying hard to fit in. A little too hard, if you ask me. What do you mean? John, I missed my block. Oh, hi, guys. Chief Applegate, don't you think you're getting carried away with being 17 again? I am not. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened to your hair? Ah, oh, gee. The ad said it'd be so gradual, nobody would notice. <laughs> well, where have you been? You're supposed to be here studying with us for the history final. Oh, something important came up. Police work? No. I'm on the decoration committee for the sock hop. Forget about that. Are you ready for the ogre's test? Sure, I've been hitting the books every night. History is a breeze. It's not like one of those tough subjects like introduction to Donkey Kong. <laughs> See? Well, I gotta go work on my thesis. Well, don't forget to stop off and get a roll of quarters. Ha <laughs> ha, Lindsay. <laughs> well, let's see how well prepared you are for this test. Go ahead. Ask me anything. Okay. Who drafted the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Okay, let's try some dates. 1789. Continental Congress. 1861. Firing on Fort Sumter. 1492. Two burgers and 11 Cokes. <laughs> hey, I'm open! <laughs> Out of the way, nerds. I got a test to ace. Jim Applegate, your hair's back to normal. I know. I should have read the label before I tried out for the swim team. <laughs> Come on, bring on that final. <laughs> That's us out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, while you are taking this examination, I will be in the teacher's lounge having a cup of coffee. I want you to know you are all on the honor system. Boy, if you believe that, you don't stand a chance on this test. <laughs> Don't you worry, Miss Ogilvy. We're all gonna make you proud. Right, kids? <laughs> Miss Ogilvy, Georgie hit me on the head with a soccer ball. Nice shot, Georgie. <laughs> all righty. You now have exactly 30 minutes. Let's rock and roll. Kyle, she said start. I can't. I went blank. Come on, you know this stuff. Just relax. <clears throat> Evie, is the answer to the first question no? Yes. Is yes? No. Will you make up your mind? <laughs> Evie, is that the right answer? All right. That's it. I will not tolerate cheating in my classroom. I am surprised that you would copy from somebody else's paper, Miss Garland. What? Especially his paper. Very well, Miss Garland. You have now failed your history examination. for something he did. Oh, really? Didn't he let you take the rap for lobbing a water balloon at Nancy Reagan? Hmm. Well, maybe shocked is too strong a word. Besides, once Kyle relaxed, he passed the test on his own. Well, that's just fine for him, but it doesn't do you any good. And since Kyle did not come forward and, and tell the truth, I'm going to talk to Miss Ogilvy and clear this whole thing up. I already tried to talk to her. What, what makes you think she'll listen to you? Evie. I am your mother. I don't have to talk to her like I'm a student. Oh, good afternoon. 
Good afternoon, Miss Ogilvy. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon, Miss Ogilvy. <clears throat> you may remember me. I'm Donna Garland. But now I'm Mayor Donna Garland. Oh, yes. Uh, I do believe I've seen you before. I think I saw your picture in the newspaper. Yes, yes probably. You're the one that lobbed that water balloon at Nancy Reagan. <laughs> Miss Ogilvy, I don't have time for a lot of small talk. Let me get right to the point. My... Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, this room, it just looks exactly the same as it did when, when I was here in history class back in 19... Well, seems like yesterday. I notice you still wear far too much lipstick. Miss Ogilvy, I'm sure that once you hear our explanation, you will see this is all a silly misunderstanding. Good afternoon, ladies. Oh, but I, 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 if I... I said good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon, Miss Ogilvy. <laughs> Boy, is she an ogre. Well, Mom, sometimes you do cake on the lipstick. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. Glad to see you finally came forward and, and you're going to tell the truth and get Evie off the hook. Well, actually, I came down to have my picture taken for the yearbook. I sure hope they airbrush my zits. Come on. Of course, I'm going to get Evie out of this mess. Oh, by the way, Donna, you're wearing too much lipstick. Uh, it's over, Evie. Oh, I'm sure you're going to try and butter me up, too, Mr. Applegate. Mm, of course not. Mm, you know? <laughs> oh, look, uh, I don't care what happens to me, but... Well, Evie, uh, Evie wasn't cheating. She was looking at your paper. Uh, yes, I, I asked her to. I want to make sure my answer was right. Well, that puts an entirely new light on the entire situation. And you're not going to fail, Evie? Absolutely not. Mr. Applegate, I appreciate your honesty. Thank you. I'm going to fail you. Pick that up! So Chief Applegate got me out of trouble with Miss Ogilvy, but it's going to cost him his job. Do you know what that means? The streets of Marlow will be safe again? Dad, it's going to ruin his life. If only I had ignored him when he asked me for help, he would have passed the test on his own. Is there any way I can use my powers to reverse time and give them a second chance? No, I'm afraid not. But I can with my powers. So when can you do it? No time like the present. soccer ball. <laughs> nice shot, Georgie. <laughs> All right. You now have exactly 30 minutes. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> Evie, is the answer to the first question no? Evie? All right. If you won't help me, I'll do it on my own. All right, Chief Applegate, it's time to celebrate. Come on in. Let me light the candle. Come on in. I don't hear any music. Test. 
test, you got an A, and now you're going to get what you've been waiting for. A new car? No! <laughs> Your diploma! Uh, are you sure there's no new car? Well, aren't you glad you're police chief? Uh, right. Oh, which reminds me, Donna. I want to talk to you about my salary. Now that I have a high school diploma, you don't expect me to work for what you pay some dork who never graduated. Is that so? Yeah, well, I'm looking for a modest increase at first. Let's say 38%. And, of course, uh, I need a boost in that miserable dental plan. And while we're at it, let's talk profit sharing, huh?